Hi everyone, this is another training video brought to you by Corec Group. Today we're going to look at adding new codes to an existing feature library in Trimble Business Center. We're going to add a quick line code and a quick point code. So I've just created a blank project here in TBC and I'm going to import in my current feature code library into the model space. You can see here in the project explorer the FXL is displaying here, and if we break that down and into the group, you can see you have your point features and you have your linear features, your line features. So I have two new codes I want to add in. I have a point code um, for a culvert soffit, and I have a line code for a, an edge of track. So let's add them in one by one. So to do that, you make a right click on the, the name of the, the group that you, that you wish to add the, the code to. Um, select new new point feature first. Name is the description. In this case, it's a culvert soffit level. The code is what you're going to select in from the access and category or group you're going to add it to. So I'm just going to leave it in general there. Create new layer. Easiest way to do this rather than scrolling down the whole way is to select it, hit space bar, and then create your new code here. So code soffit and close on that. All right, that's your code added. Next thing to do is to add um, a symbol. So make a right click on the code, add a symbol. I'm just gonna call it the same as my, my code name. You can add whatever you fancy here. I'll go across with a circle there and you can apply a scale to that. I'm just going to go with 0 0.3. Once you add anything to a, to a code, you can break it down. You can see that there's a symbol attached and if you click on it, you can, you can go in and make a change to that if needed. If you wish to add any attribute values, you click on the feature code name, make a right click, new attribute, and you can add Lots of different uh, types of attribute fields in here that will display after you measure the point in from the access. For now, I'm going to leave it as, as is. Um, so that's my point created. Um, you need to add a linear feature. So if I make a right click, new, new line feature. So my the name of this is just the track edge. So uh, track edge. TK for my code. Same story here for my layer. I'm just going to go space bar, new layer, track edge, and I'll give it a, an orange color there and close. And you can see the track edge is added there to the list. Yeah. With either of these as well, you can choose to include in the surface or not, depending if it's on if you want to include it on the DTM. So you can say yes or no to that. Same applies for that culvert soffit that we we added in. I'm going to say no to that. Um, okay, so that's both codes created. Um, I'm just going to do a quick save on my TBC project here. Okay, and at this point you can export the library to, to save the changes or you can choose to maybe add a label style to it. So a label is the text that's associated with the, the code. Um, so I'll show you the process of doing that really quick. Um, so to do that we go into the drafting tab, label style manager, and we need to create an individual label for each individual code and that gives us the flexibility turn on and off the label and leave the symbol. So you can see here under point styles and label style manager, we have a, a label style for each in each existing code. So I'm just going to create a new one for each of these. Cover soffit. Again with the layer, I'm going to create a new layer for this. I'm going to 
by Herbert Soffit underscore text. Close on that. Text style, I'm going to leave it as, as per the other um, feature codes there. You have the gap relative to the to the symbol. Um, if it's a linear code, I I tend to um, check the box to line labels to associated line segments. Um, for point features, I tend to leave it unchecked. Um, so the label properties, then you can add in the relevant label that you need associated with the point. Uh, for the culvert soffit level, I'm going to add in an elevation, and I'm going to assign. I'm going to just going to leave it at two decimal places. So I'm going to hit add on that. Um, I can add a little bit of a gap there. Um, let's see what that's like. Yeah, it's not too bad there. Um, and I'm going to put it underneath. Yeah, and that's your little preview box there. You need to remove it. You just select it. It goes orange, and you can hit remove. And to add it back in, you just hit add. If you want to add an additional symbol or uh, additional text, um. You can you can pick one of the options here if I go with this time user defined and then I just type in C U L add and I can move that around and place it wherever I like relative to the symbol. So that's fine for the the culvert soffit and now I can add a new one for uh, the track. So you name page space bar. color textile this time I'm going to align the label to associate line segment and then for the track edge I'm just going to leave that elevation set it to two decimal places add I want to place it just underneath the line so you can just okay that and then the last step the second last step is to um, associate the label style with the code. So you just need to go back into each of these and then you can see here the label style is set to none. So we're just going to pick the new label style that we've created. Um, so I'm going to select Culvert Soffit and then go on down to my, my track and assign my new track page. There we go. Okay, so there are two new codes added, a line code and a, a point code. And our last step then is to export the updated feature code library. So go to the home tab, export, GIS, feature definition file, the FXL, and you can rename it um, appropriately there. As an updated FXL, correct. Um, go to a different name here. Core 2023, yeah, export that. Okay, and that's library updated. Save library into your system files folder and Trimble Access, and away you go. Thanks for watching. Cheers.